is it? Welcome to my small apartment tour. Come in, come in. Take off your shoes though. This is an Asian house. Welcome to our small one bedroom apartment in Sydney and these are some tips that we use so that we can make the most of the space that we have. The first tip is to use multi-purpose furniture. As you can see, this is a coat rack, but it's also a shoe rack as well. Multi-purpose. This kitchen island adds some extra bench space, but it also has storage below it and you can actually eat here. Pretty handy. Not everything is as it appears in this small home. This may look like a coffee table, but watch this. Now it's a dining table and there's even storage inside. It took us a while to find pieces of furniture like this that have multiple purposes, but if you do live in a small space, I think it's so worth the time and effort because then you can really make the most of your space. And then this couch may just look like a couch, but as we know, not everything is as it appears in this small apartment. Watch this. Now it's a bed. And there are even more surprises with this couch. Watch this. There's even more storage. This is where Pablo sleeps. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Maybe you can relate to this story. So whenever I need to cook something, I'll need some ingredients for the recipe. But unfortunately, when my pantry wasn't organized, I wouldn't be able to see the things that I had because they'd be all the way up the back and I wouldn't see it. So then I'd end up purchasing like five different brown sugars. But this is how I solved this problem. Ta-da! Now, don't get me wrong, it still isn't perfect yet, but you know what? It was looking a lot better than it did before. These storage containers and the labels really, really help. So you might be wondering where our fridge is. It's actually behind here. Okay, this is one thing I don't like about this kitchen. We can't see our magnet collection because it's hiding behind this door. This is our magnet collection of all of the places that we've been to. So if you're wondering where all of our money goes, so you're looking at it, it's, it all goes here. The reason why we started collecting magnets is because when I was a little girl, my dad used to have this family friend that we would visit during Christmas time. And this family friend that my dad had was really, really wealthy. They used to have have a magnet collection on their fridge as well. So I remember being a little kid looking at their magnet collection and then thinking to myself, one day I'm going to have a fridge full of magnets like this. So looking at these magnets honestly makes me so happy because my dream came true. Tokyo was really, really cool. Food is so good. I also really liked Ibiza because you know what happens at Ibiza. <laughs> Obviously, I love Singapore because I have family in Singapore, so it's always so nice to see my relatives. And Paris as well, because that's where Pablo's from. Hello. <laughs> this is Pablo. He wasn't expecting me to do that. So these are my two favorite appliances. My coffee machine, I absolutely love this thing. And my air fryer. This coffee machine, funny story about this, we bought this about six years ago and this was when I just moved out of home, wasn't earning very much money, wasn't saving a lot of money because I wasn't earning a lot of money. So we wanted to purchase a coffee machine and this coffee machine at the time was around $700 for the coffee machine and the grinder. And I remember thinking so hard about that purchase because we didn't have a lot of money back then. So that was a really, really big purchase for us. And it was quite a big stretch for us as well. But lo and behold, six years later, we still have the same coffee machine. We use it every day, twice a day, because I have a coffee in the morning, Pablo has a coffee in the morning. So it honestly was a really, really great investment. And it still makes really good coffees. It hasn't died yet. Touch wood, touch wood, touch wood. <laughs> this is our workspace. Pablo and I both work from home, so we wanted our workspace to fit in nicely and to be a good setup, but also still have quite a bit of space for our personal time as well. So we tried to combine both of these things in our living room in the one place. So this is where I usually work. We have a big screen, we have a Mac Mini, I also have a MacBook Air and a 
keyboard and mouse that were quite pricey. Even though it's not an investment in say shares or property or crypto, I still think that equipment like this is a good investment if it can make you more productive and save you more time or even make you more money and make your work better. And you may be thinking right now, Queenie, where is your TV? Watch this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We don't actually have a TV, but it's our makeshift TV because we did not have enough space for a TV, but maybe that's a good thing after all. Now you can watch Netflix. Ta-da! We do have a TV after all, but it's also a computer during the day. Multi-purpose. <laughs> Welcome to our bathroom. This is something that we bought from Ikea because there wasn't enough storage space in this bathroom. And I think these sorts of things are quite good if you do live in a small space. It doesn't take up much room, but it has three levels so you can fit quite a lot of things in here. As you know, we are also a money channel as well. So you'll find something like this in our apartment. This is where we put all of our bulk items that we have purchased from Costco or the supermarkets. We have our coffee milk, we have our milk for our breakfast, and we like to buy things in bulk so that we can just store it in here. Buying things in bulk when it's on sale or when it's a really good price saves quite a lot of money because we're going to be buying those things anyway, so you might as well get a good price on it, right? Laundry, so this is our dryer, and this is our washing machine, and this is our washing powder. Like I said, you know we like purchasing things in bulk, so we have this big, tub where we put all of our bulk laundry powder powder sorry we put out all our bulk laundry powder in here and we can just scoop it out little bits at a time for our laundry saves quite a bit of money and to finish the bedroom now I know you think that this bed is just a bed but wait there's more there's more it's also storage as well so let's go back into the living room and do a bit of a Q&A. I know it's been a long time since we posted a long form video, so we wanted to answer some of your questions. Come with me. Woo. Right. First question, Queenie. How much is in your bank account? <laughs> Mel, how much do you pay and where do you live? So we pay $685 per week in Sydney, Australia, Australian dollars place and we are renting this one bedroom apartment with a parking spot as well. Why did you decide to leave your other apartment? So our last apartment that we were living in, we actually purchased that one. It's a two bedroom apartment. And honestly, Pablo and I, we went traveling last year for about three and a half months. While we were traveling, we spoke to my uncle and he said, hey, you know what guys, maybe you should consider renting out your apartment. So we were like, yeah, you know what? Maybe we should just rent out our apartment while we're traveling. So we rented it out. Somebody, a tenant came in and they offered to lease it for two years. So our last place is currently leased for two years. So that's why we're renting this place. And we honestly did want a bit of a change and to live somewhere else. So we're really happy with this new place. Do you plan on having a wedding in Sydney or somewhere else? So you may not have known this, but we actually got engaged. So Pablo asked me in Singapore, such a sweetheart. And I did say, yeah, he actually didn't ask. <laughs> he just got down on his knee and gave me the ring and he just looked at me like he didn't say anything. He looked so stressed. I've never seen him so stressed in my life. But I said yes. Um, and we were planning our wedding. We were going to have a wedding. Honestly, it just took a lot of time. It was stressful, lots of money, lots and lots of money. And what we realized was when we look at our life plans for the next five years, we want to start a family. We want to purchase another property. Wedding really wasn't at the top of that list. It was probably more like kids, property, wedding. So that's what we're thinking of doing. Even though I know it's maybe not traditional, we want to start a family this year potentially or at least start trying and then potentially start saving for a property so that we can, you know, move in with our kid. And once we have kids, then we're thinking of having the wedding once we're more settled. And I don't know, I just think it would be cute having like little kids at the wedding, like flower girl or flower boy. I mean, not flower boy, ring, ring boy, whatever it is. Yeah, be cute. What do you think, Pablo? Yeah, very excited. Yeah. Family, the small family. Yeah. 
they'll be so cute. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and write us a comment about what you thought. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.